so in our early videos we have seen that how we can start how we can shoot auto messages by google sheets so if we have a database and if new data is added to the database then how we can send the messages but today we are going to discuss that how we can send bulk whatsapp difference between these two is in previous code if message is once sent then again message won't go to that particular line item or or a row but today we will learn to be able to send multiple messages on any row so let's watch and try to understand the way to get it done so we have created a dummy data sheet when we have where we have name of the customer then company's name the mobile number of the customer then date of anniversary let's say uh, we are also having date of birth in this column the column e and then uh, again uh, as you may you might have the idea that uh, we have the status column and then we have the age column where uh, we have set the trigger uh, which are which is conditionally based that when the uh, messages would be sent on which conditions the messages are going to be sent so uh, as we can see uh, in the bottom of on the bottom of the sheet that we have we are having three tabs the first tab name is bulk whatsapp the second tab name is whatsapp content and the third uh, tab is festivals so uh, let me explain uh, all these three tabs so first tab i have already explained that where we are having the database of the customer and then the second uh, tab is whatsapp content this tab would be containing the information where and when the messages are going to be sent and the body of the message and all the other info so let me explain by step by step so uh, the first uh, uh, row is containing the start time and the end time the first row uh, where you know if uh, th this is the time frame th this, this is the time window between these timings uh, i want to send the messages so i don't want to send the message to our customers on odd in odd hours so i am i have set the timings uh, like i want to send the messages between 8 am in the morning till 11 pm in the evening and so i have set the time window here so all the messages would uh, which are going to be sent they will be sent under this time frame and then uh, again in column 3 we are having the test mobile number if we want to test the system then we have to put the number here and all the messages uh, would be sent to this mess to this number this mobile number and then the fourth column is of the mobile number which uh, which should be put in the curly bracket so that the same number would be uh, picked up as it is and then the fifth row is containing the content the message of the body so i have you know set an uh, set it as an example like hi the customer name would be picked it up uh, so uh, you know the all, all these things uh, the name uh, it should be as it is like uh, we are having so had a name should be like as it is so we should uh, recommend you like uh, you should be the copy pasting all these things as it is so we have to make the changes here so then uh, all the headers should be put as it is so all all the headers are in caps lock so i i would make sure that you know whatever things uh, i'm putting in curly brackets would be in the caps lock on and then it's like uh, today is friday so i have written it here that's thanks god it's from friday let's enjoy and thanks the, my name and then in the sixth seventh and eighth row uh, these uh, would be containing the your whatsapp id seventh row would be containing the password of your account and then the eighth row would be containing the api so either you are supposed to put your id and password and either you can only put the api id here as we have put it here and then if you want to include the file uh, uh, file links then uh, you can uh, save the link here and this link would be sent along with the message so this is all about the second tab which which whose name is whatsapp content and then we all are also having the third tab which name is festivals 
so like the bulk uh, what uh, this sheet would do that you know we have put uh, uh, we have put a certain condition like uh, this system would run uh, by the date and if that date is of today then it will it will automatically uh, put that message uh, will you know bring the message from this tab to this tab as we can see that you know on 8th of april this is friday and i have put the message here let's say if you know i i change the date here and if i change the date here from 8th of april to 9th of april 2022 so now if we go to the second tab whatsapp content now as we can see the messages uh, this row uh, became becomes blank so this is how it gonna be working so i have set the condition like it is so now again if i again change the date to from 9th of april to 8th of april then again uh, it will pick the message because today is 8th of april so it will it would automatically put uh, pick up the messages as per the dates so let's say on 25th of december it would automatically send the message which i have saved it here so everyone knows that on 24 uh, 25th of december it's merry christmas so the merry christmas messages would be sent automatically then on 24th of october as in india uh, we are we would be celebrating diwali in 2022 so on 24th of october it would automatically uh, pick this message up there and this message would be sent on Diwali to on all the customers whose info are here okay so we have now have the database right there right here and we have set up the content as well we have uh, saved all the information as per our requirements and we have uh, we have created the message of the body as per our requirement as per our dates as per our festivals whatever it is so now we will move to extensions we will move to app scripts we have uh, you know provided the code on our youtube channel by the name of Ankur Agarwal and uh, as you can see in the description box uh, we have provided the link here so when you click on this link you would get the link and this link you have to copy the link from here and you have to paste it here so i have pasted the link and now we are supposed to make a little bit changes in here so uh, let's start from the beginning so from line 10 from this sheet so it is saying the get sheet by name so it is right now talking about the sheet whose name is bulk whatsapp so we have to copy the name of the sheet and we have to save it here like this then it is again asking where it is it has to set the values the get sheet by name so again now it is uh, asking about this sheet no, uh, the sheet name so we have to copy the name of this tab and then we have to paste it here Alright, okay, then it is asking about the status column. So we have already, uh, so I'm sorry, uh, so uh, we have already, you know, uh, we are having the status column by the name of status and we have set the trigger by the name of festival. So all these information uh, by the name of status, by the name of festivals, then we have to uh, enter the test mobile number column, mobile column, message column, file column. So all these columns uh, we can pick it up from here so test mobile number is in B3 B4 and the content of the message is in B5 so B3 B4 B5 so we have put the values here B3 B4 B5 for mobile messages and in the same way they would see the file column the file column would be uh, it's in B10 so we would uh, put the value so now we, uh, 
all these details are in R and B6, B7, B8. So all these information would be put here B6, B7, B8 and then the start duration time and the end duration. These are in uh, B1 and D1. So all these values will be put here B1, D1 and then we have to save it. Then we have some permissions. We have to copy this section and we have to paste it here and then we have to save it. Then on this clock sign we have to click on it and we would have to add the trigger. So on this plus sign on the bottom right side of the screen we can see that plus add trigger. So we would click on it and add the trigger. And then our function name is appearing right now make it simple or what's a periodic then we would select the event source as a time driven then we would select the minute timer and time based trigger section and then because it is bulk whatsapp and we do not want any kind of duplication in the messages we would select we would recommend to select every 30 minutes and then we have to save it and now the trigger has been applied as we can see uh, I'll just go ahead and delete the previous trigger now trigger has been added and now that's it our job is done the changes have been made in the code also and now on the sheet So now after 30 minutes this code would run automatically and the messages would be shot on these numbers as, as of now I have set this number and the test mobile column so all the messages are going to be shot on this number and if I want to make this system live I would have to remove the number from this section and then now messages would go to these numbers. I just want to test it so I will again put my number on it so I am not going to wait for 30 minutes so I will run it right here right now so I will select the function click on the play button and now we can see that messages would be sent as soon as the code would finish running so as we can see that you know the values have come in this section and we will start receiving the messages so now as you know we are receiving the messages hi I did Sharma Altos thank god it's on Friday let's enjoy thanks Sunny Sharma this is what we have entered here has come up which has started coming up on whatsapp so that's all in this video if you have any questions please let us know and please like and subscribe our channel thank you very much